Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you for the love and support that you show towards the videos and towards the channel. And you know, you're just opening up and you know, soaking up the knowledge that we truly need to know going towards our path. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. If you feel like you're comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you're just opening up telling me about your impact of gift and how it's impacted your life. And heading you towards a positive direction. And if you feel like the video just gave you good vibes and you want to share with others, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And share, like, and even share on your social media favorites. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. I hope you're able to resonate with the content of the video. And thank you so much for the love and support that you showed the channel once again. And the music that I'm listening to in the background is Tibetan, Tibet, Tibetan he, uh, healing sounds, he, singing bowls and natural sounds, gold for meditation and relaxation. And I will post that link in the description box below. And my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, try to find the humor during your hard times. You know, um, y'all, I apologize for not having no videos out for y'all yesterday morning. I mean, it's just been going through some stuff. And, you know, and it's just been a long week and just dealing with a whole lot of stuff at the same time. And it's just like, y'all know, through my efforts, I make my vlogs. And, you know, and this is how we communicate. And it's just like I laugh with my friend Joan. And she know what I'm talking about. I said, y'all know, y'all get through things. And it's just like I go through my mistakes. I go through my mishaps. And that's how I make my videos. Or I'm going through something at the time. And it really sticks out to me that others might be going through the same thing. So it's just like when I, I was not feeling it yesterday, I was not up to par. And like I've told y'all before, if y'all been with me for a while, y'all know if I'm feeling some type of way or I'm just really drained. I don't want to impose on nobody by making no videos like that because y'all hit nails on the head. You know, I could be trying to fake the funk, trying to be happy and making a video and y'all will peg me every time. So when I feel like I was, you know, I wasn't feeling that way, but it's just like I'm tired and I just really had no energy I wouldn't have made no kind of sense y'all have been just looking at me like you know Rosalind I usually get you but I I'm lost <laughs> I'm so lost so I didn't make any videos yesterday so y'all apologize but you know you know every day is not going to be a perfect day for y'all you know and it's just like you know people some people try to fake the front like it is I'm not going I'm not that one you know, if I'm just going through stuff and I just really feel mentally drained and feel like I'm just pulled in all different directions, I just have to take time out for me. But it's just like when we're going through different things, we have to try to find the humor and stuff that we go through. Because if not, you're going, you, you're going, it's going to send you down a crazy rabbit hole. You don't need to be, you know, always tensed out and stressed about the things that you go through because it's, some of the stuff you can't change. You know, it's just something that we have to go through. It's just a process that things that we have to go through. So it's just like, you know, when when I have, you know, my one-on-ones with people and we talk or whatever, you know, I, I keep it real with them. You know, not every day is going to be perfect. Not every day is going to be roses and sun, sunshine and rainbows and everything like that. We're going to have our rainy days and we're going to have our days where we want to pull our hair out and cry. And that's fine. You know, but it, it's just like you have to cry and just say, you know what, tomorrow's another day. You know, you never know what, anything can change in a day. We have to remember that. Anything can change in a day. Because it, it's just like you can pray, you can meditate, and you never know what's in store for you. You just have to, you know you're going through something and it has to be a process that you're going through, but you are healing from it. You are getting strength from it. You are acknowledging things that you probably have went through in your past that is probably reflecting on something right now that you you know that can cripple your future if you don't take take care of it so it's just like with us you know we we take on a big big role in a lot of people's lives of trying to bring humor to life and trying to let 
people know not to take life so serious all the time even though there's a time and a place to be serious but there's a time you need to let loose and go ahead and let your hair down take the bras off take your jock straps off if you gotta wear those too and just relax just relax because it's just like you know you have to tell yourself not every day is going to be like this i know i might be going through a process right now where everything feels like everything is against me you know with us going through this, these ascension phases like i told y'all the other day it's going to make you feel like you're you're losing your mind or make you feel like your life is spiraling out of control but everything has to fall apart for it to be pieced back together just to start that clear foundation for you to be able to set yourself towards a positive direction we have to be able to tell ourselves that because it's hard to tell yourself that when you're going through a whole lot of, you know, BS. It's hard to tell yourself that, especially when you're in your feelings. You be like, F this mess and I'm so tired of this and I'm so tired of that. I don't put out all this positive stuff. You know, they keep telling me stuff is coming my way, but I'm really not seeing it. But you, I have to keep telling myself as well as I got to keep telling y'all. You never know what's going on behind closed doors. You never know what things are turning in their way for you. We just have to be patient because things will be set in our lives to just to see if it's going to make us or break us. And you have to be able to know, okay, I'm going through a test right now. Because I went through this mess yesterday. No, actually the day before yesterday. Going through stuff and it's just like being able to see it and then catching it right the nail on you know nail on the head because it's just like oh I've been through this before you know people coming at you crazy or you know just responding to you like you know they don't lost their last minds or any kind of situation you have gone through where people have hurt you or it's just things are just falling short in your life that you truly might need right now and you feel like your prayers aren't being answered but we all have to go through these things. And you have to be, you have to find humor and stuff like that. Well, like, damn, it could be a lot worse. Or, hey, I could be going through this and this and this and that. I might be going through this, but you have to be able to see that blessing in the skies for you. And it's just like, I could be bummed out right about now because things are not going as fast as I want them to. Or I'm not where I want to be right now, but that's okay. I'm healing myself. I'm being able to pay attention and fix the things that I need to fix. So when I be able to have these blessings, I'll be straight. You know, I want to be able to be mentally, and emotionally, and physically ready for things that are coming in my life. And you have to be able to do that for yourself too. Because it could be a job that you might have wanted and trying to go out for that. And you didn't get that job you have to think what is going on in your life right now are you mentally able to deal with this job are you able to take these tasks on that they might be asking you to do is your situation at home straight is your mind straight you have to ask yourself all these questions on the reason why you weren't able to get these things you have to really sit back and focus on you know hey when i'm not in my feelings not while you're in your feelings but while you're calm when you're actually able to process the things that you're going through in life and trying to figure out, okay, what was the reason why I didn't get this, you know, this blessing that I truly needed in my life? Was I ready for that? Was I able to do this at that time? Well, you know, you never know what all the things you got on in life that God's trying to keep you from and you feel like, you know, you're being punished. Because a lot of times, you know, I ain't even going to lie. I felt like God was punishing me. It's like, I'm pushing out all this love, but I'm getting all this hate back. You know, I'm having my name thrown in the mud. I'm having, you know, family members turn on me. I'm having family not even acknowledging the things that I'm going through. You know, and it was just like, it wasn't meant for them to go down that road with me. It was just for me to just back away and just work on myself. So it's just like when I look at things and I have to shake my head and laugh like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> you know, you have to do that. You have to really do that. Find the humor in your hard times because if you're always gloomy and you're thinking that that's just all you are is just bringing that energy towards yourself to keep continuing to go through that. So see yourself in a good light. See yourself as knowing, okay, whatever, you know, trial and tribulation I'm going through right now, it's going to cease and desist. I just don't know when it's going to happen, but I know things are turning around for me. And you have to be able to process that in your mind and say, you know what, every day is not going to be hell for me. Yeah, I might be going through this right now, but look at all the strength that I've got from all this daggone BS that I had to deal with. And then you can be able to... 
because it's like going to be a month or you know month or two or you know three months or six months or a year from now you can look back at that situation and laugh saying i never thought i was going to get through this it might not have been a funny situation but it would it just be kind of key key to you because the fact is you didn't think you were going to get through this because there's a lot of things we go through that we didn't feel like we want to get through but we end up getting through them anyway but you know find the humor through your hard times you know things are not going to last the way you think they are you have to go through a process to get to a process you have to know that when we go through a chapter you know it, we have to go through a lot to fill that page just to be able to start another one and you know just don't keep reading back on the same page because that's why it's meant for another chapter so you know i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video i hope you're having a blessed week this week went by so fast it's almost the weekend well, it pretty much is going to be the weekend. So, you know, have a safe weekend. Be responsible for everything you do. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you're blessed, truly loved, and highly favored. Know there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. And like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And drop me a line. And... You know, I would love to hear from you, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or even if it's about your impact, the gift, and how it's impacted your life towards a positive direction. You give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. And I'm sending out much love and light and positivity, also your way in infinite abundance and uplifting and healing prayers if you need them. And I will see you on my next video. Peace and be wild.